Now from Milan to Australia, he's the Italian chef inspired by his mama's cooking. Welcome back, Luca. Thank you, guys. So Thanks nice. for having me back. I love when you're here. This is fantastic. And we're getting straight into it. What are we, we cooking today? We're going to get straight into it. We got a panna cotta, but it's all about the key ingredient today. So we're going to mm. do a yogurt panna cotta with oh. buffalo's yogurt. Uh, great, oh. rich uh, in flavor, uh, very good to digest, actually, against normal cow's milk, is much easier to digest. And it just generally adds a flavor to the panna cotta that is so, so delicious. But can I stress how simple this is? Oh, like, okay. you're probably not going to pay, all the rest are going to be upset with me. You're not going to pay ever for a panna cotta. This it's, is easy. It seems very fancy. So what's in there So now? we got 80% cream and 20% milk ratio. Mm -hmm. Okay, I kind of worked it out over the years that if you cut it down with a little bit of milk, it's not as heavy. Okay, right. simple yeah. as that. Uh, vanilla goes inside, scrape the beans of it so that it gets infused into the milk and cream. Panna cotta, by the way, in Italian means cooked cream. Panna, oh. cream, there you cotta, go. cooked. Course. Simple as that, right. right? All makes sense. And once you got the sugar in it and they got the right ratio of the cream and the sugar, you got the flavor profile that, you know, you like, enjoy to eat. Now, the setting component, it's uh, our gelatin sheets, okay? Right. These, you what? buy them in shops, sheets. they're super sorry. easy. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, 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 <laughs> come along. No, 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 please, no, no, no. please, come on. You're gonna do what? Don't <laughs> run up. And so, you see, now you throw me off, right? Sorry, yeah. that was on my mission. You kiss your mother with that my mission. All right, I'm, I'm swear, uh, stirring this up. This has just come up to a simmer. You grab your gelatin leaves. It's very good practice to j make sure to get off as much as water as you can. Uh -huh. Goes in it, because you don't want the additional water going yeah. into your panna cotta. This will dissolve in a matter of seconds. And good practice is to bring it up to the boil for literally one minute, job done. As soon as that happens, I'm going in finally with the key ingredient, my beautiful buffalo yogurt. And if you're about to ask me, gee, where do I buy it? Yeah. I know, it's always, it's me being me. I love always to do things that um, are not difficult, but it'll be different, right? What you gotta, um, just Google a buffalo uh, yogurt, cause honestly, it's not widely available. There's not many people doing it, but I just fell in love. I like yogurt. Uh, of course, if you can't find it, just buy, you know, plain yogurt, Greek yogurt, flavored yogurt, you know, whatever, whatever yeah. you want, it's still gonna work. Once all of this is done, uh, since we're, we don't have too much time, normally I'll wait for a few minutes and then I'll hand blend it, just to make sure, I got my hand blender here that probably, we're not even gonna bother, this is <sighs> the one too short. Yeah. Well, did you want it to blend? Nah, you nah, want nah, to nah, blend? Nah, nah, <laughs> I wanna eat. What, once <laughs> this is all blended <laughs> and smooth, so the heat uh, gets to be turned off, mm -hmm. Simple as that. And then you get whatever mold of your own liking, right? Can be at home, usually I get a big bowl, the family gets into it, or a cute mold, like we got for oh. the finish. I got something <laughs> yes. to show you. You tip it over, it's a bit tricky, but then you garnish it with whatever seasonal fruit of, of your liking. So it's a centerpiece for the exactly. table. Exactly. And, and Luca, um, you, you've just come back from um, Italy as well. So it was a yes. nice being home, oh, back it in was the home great country after... as well. And you talk about you talk about this wonderful recipe as well in that season two of your cooking yes. show as well. Yeah. Uh, it's starting that. finally on Sunday. That's the premiere. Uh, first key ingredient is garlic, actually, it's not buffalo cheese. Yep. So if you're a garlic lover, please do tune in. Um, yeah, very exciting. I uh, brought a lot of ideas from back home. Obviously, a lot of family recipe turned with a bit of, you know, chef flair and something quite exciting. Mm -hmm. Now, I think uh, very quickly, I'm going to mimic this. The sauce is going to go with this uh, beautiful panna cotta, yogurt panna cotta. Is uh, strawberries, limoncello. Oh. If we had flame over here, would they could have gone up in flame and we would have done your eyebrow right here. <laughs> okay, but not today. A little bit of sugar to encourage, oh, so to encourage this to cook up. You cook this down for literally five minutes. Put a little bit of fresh mint and, and this happy is what days. it looks like. And this is what <gasps> we got. Okay. I think it's time for the big reveal. Simple as that. So oh, yes. at this yes. stage, are you the man any cooking today, have you? That's all I'm just gonna eat today. Can mate. you do me a big favor? Yeah, you of know course. what that can you get the masterpiece out from do down not below? Do not it. drop it. Otherwise, it's on you, Don't okay? It's, not, it's it. not on me. So this is what we made earlier. This is the beauty of live TV. Oh, holy moly. Yay! Hey! Look at oh. that! Okay, Isn't that is so clever. We got the masterpiece here. I made it yesterday, obviously, set in the fridge. And let's quickly go back to what's good about a panna cotta. Come on, a panna cotta that sets too hard is not pleasant. No. Too sweet, not pleasant. What are you looking for? Oh, wobble, the wobble, 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 wobble. And how do you finish this off? Simply with any seasonal fruit. This was uh, done in, for me, panna cotta is quite of a summery thing. So a little bit of strawberry. And if right. you want to have fun for the kids, look at those one here. They got coloring for the kids. I think everyone's going to be on this in just a moment. If you want to catch uh, Luca's Key Ingredients, season two starts this Sunday, 9 a.m. on Network 10. Luca Chiana, tune in. Tune in. Thank you guys. Yeah. Thanks for coming. We'll see you soon. You don't want Thank to. you.